women's pole vault competition. This is Stacey Dragila. She's the world record holder, equal with Emma George. She won the world title this year. This is her first attempt in the competition at 4 metres 15 and a good clearance for the Americans. So a great women's pole vault competition in store for us in Brisbane tonight with Stacey Dragila and Evan George, both world record holders, as we've, as we've mentioned, at 4 metres 60. And Tatiana Grigorieva, the Australian who won the bronze medal in Seville, also in this field. So 4 metres 15. And Stacey Dragila, who was just magnificent in... Seville. I was just about to say the same thing, David. Gee, she proved she was a competitor there. She had an enormous number of jumps over there too, didn't she? Competition went for four hours and 15 minutes, but early stages here and Dragila clear at her opening jump. Part of the bar now, four metres 25. This is Emma George's first jump in the competition. And as she flies in, she'll look to have a good clearance here. Just stalling a fraction over the top, but she is clear. So Emma George working her way into this women's pole vault competition. We've lost three competitors, but five still remain at 4 metres 25. You can see Emma there not choosing to enter this competition until that height. It's higher than she went at the World Championships in Seville. Of course, she had huge problems there three weeks beforehand. She fell from about this height and missed the bags completely and landed on the track and was cut off to hospital and was lucky to make it to the World Championships where she finished 14th. So clearance for Emma George at 4 metres 25. I want you in the to Nationals. Well done. Thank you. Thanks for coming out. Justin Edelzar, who would have been shot So Emma George on screen there. Yeah, I'm in the and we're going to watch Bridget Isworth. The Victorian, just 18 years of age. This is her final attempt at 4 metres 25. It'll be a personal best. And if she goes clear, it will be a new Australian junior record. It's a good jump. She's clear. So a personal best and a new Australian under-20 record for Bridget Isworth. And that's a wonderful performance from her. She shared this record with Kim Howe from Western Australia, but now she has it all by herself. And the Olympic qualifying, the A qualifying, is 4 metres 30. So she lives to fight on, and the bar will be raised to that height, and perhaps... Bridget Isworth at just 18 can George, join Emma George and Tatiana Grigorieva in the team for Sydney. A personal best. She's coached by Mark Stewart, who guided Emma George to most of her junior world records, or her world records. A fantastic performance. Australian junior record to Bridget Isworth. David Colbert. It is indeed on the runway. The world champion, Stacey Dragila. This is her second attempt at 4 metres 35. Both George and Grigori Ava have missed their first attempts and the American goes clear and into the lead. So good effort. She struggled early in this competition, snuck over 4.25 on her third attempt. She took a jump at 4 metres 30, cleared that on her first and is now starting to move into her work. She won $100,000 in an exhibition in America last year, becoming the first American to jump 15 feet. And then, of course, picked up $30,000 at the World Championship. So it wasn't a bad year last year. $130,000 US dollars in two competitions. Stacey Dragila, first attempt at 4 metres 45. She can put the pressure on Emma George, and she goes over. So good effort from the American. A good clearance. She was rusty early in this competition. Not much margin for error there, but she is clear, and that's all that matters. So, what can Emma George do? She missed her first attempt at 4.45. So this is her second attempt now. And she needs this to remain in touch with Dragila. Great battle here. So here goes Emma George. Second attempt, 4 metres 45. Great shot from up above. Not enough pace though. And Emma has one more jump remaining. So the pressure on now as Dragila goes clear you can see just didn't quite have the pace on the run-up and one more attempt remaining for emma george terry third attempt for emma george now four meters 45 she needs this to remain in the competition what can she get here she needs this and she sneaks over so she joins stacy dragila at four meters 45 and they will raise the bar and the competition will continue so a great rivalry already developing between these two. 
and Emma George, the fighting qualities of the Australian shining through. Clutch jump here. She needed it to stay in the competition. Dragila going clear on her first attempt. Emma took three, but they fight on. Good clearance there too, David. She seems to have completely gained, regained her confidence after that terrible accident six months ago. And she's starting to move her heights up to what will definitely be needed to start winning medals at the Olympic Games. Starting to get interesting now. This is Dragila, first attempt at 4 metres 50. Plenty of pace on the runway from the American, and that looks like a good jump, and she's over. So we are now getting serious. 4 metres 50, and Dragila goes clear. It's a wonderful effort. 4 metres 60 is the world record, so we are starting to get up into that territory, and there's a little bit of margin for comfort for Stacey Dragila. She's got so much pace on the America, on the runway, the American. She's as tough as old boot leather. So she moves back into the lead. Emma George now has to respond. Exciting on the runway for the women's pole vault. Dragila about to have a crack at the world record. Terry, the height of the bar, as you can see, they're measuring it. It's a long way in the air. It's at four meters 61. Just making sure that that measurement is spot on because that height, 4 metres 61, will be a new world record. And Stacey Dragila, who is the only athlete remaining in this competition, Emma George going out at 4 metres 55. And Dragila clearing that height on her third attempt. She's had nine jumps so far in this competition. She was tough in Seville, and she's tough again here tonight. She nearly went out of the competition at 4 metres 25. She snuck over there on her third attempt, cleared 4 metres 30, went over 4.35 on her second attempt. They went up to 4.45. She got that and then cleared 4.50, then 4.55. So she's been in this competition for a long time. In fact, she opened up at 4 metres 15. Emma George struggled a little bit tonight. Her best height cleared will be 4 metres 45. And we travel up to 4 metres 61. That's what it feels like to be a pole vaulter. It is a long way in the air. Emma George set a world record here on this track two years ago, 4 metres 59. And of course, she set the current world record at 4 metres 60 at the Optus Grand Prix meeting in Sydney last year and Dragila equaled that to win the gold medal in Seville. So Dragila just paces up and down perfect conditions for pole vaulting. No wind at all at the State Athletic Centre here in Brisbane. And pretty important to get this measurement spot on. Just one centimetre above the world record and they'll check it just to make sure that it is 100% right so Emma George who has 12 outdoor world records to her name Stacey Dragila just has the one but it came at the most important time of all the world championships here in Brisbane tonight but right now back to the world record attempt in the women's pole vault so Stacey Dragila at the top of the runway, the height of the bar, 4 metres 61. It will be a new world record if she is successful. She's on her way, the American. 4.61, plenty of speed, and just a little bit short. First attempt. Don't go anywhere, though. She still has two more attempts remaining at the new world record height of 4 metres 61. Not too far away there. Certainly her high point was up in the vicinity of 4.61. Perhaps just a little bit more speed required for Stacey Dragila. I thought, David, she didn't get the penetration that was needed, so the forward momentum to get her up over that one. But she's a great competitor, isn't she? Gee, she competes well in the team. Well, I wouldn't want to be out there on that track. And Yana Pittman, you know, she ran well. Young young uh, teenager as well, and she's going to have another, another few months under her belt, and she's on the rapid improvement track. Uh, ladder at the moment too so she'll take another couple of steps up that rung so that race at the uh, at the 
trials is also going to be exceptionally important to the makeup of that 4 by 14 Difficult for Yana too, running in an outside lane tonight, Jane, not yeah. knowing where those others were. Yes, it is. And also Yana sprained her ankle quite badly a couple of weeks ago, so she's had to... Uh, She's had to have a couple of weeks where she's gone easy and she was really going on, on the crest of a wave for a while there, running PB after PB. But she'll realise, and she's got people around her that are wise enough to tell her that, you know, take your time, be a little patient and it'll come. David Colbert starting to stir up the crowd. Well, she's ambitious, wanting the crowd to clap for her. Stacey Dragiela, second attempt. 4 metres 61, it's a world record. If she goes clear, it is close. So close. Well, the first attempt was close. That one was closer. She's got one more remaining. Well, she was ambitious asking the crowd to get behind her because if she's successful here, she'll take Emma George's world record. And I think the big crowd here, well, they didn't want to disappoint the American, but I'm not too sure if the heart was really in it. Well, I think one thing that you can say about Australians is that they do respect good sporting performance. And uh, let's hope yeah, that this is going to happen here. Next you know, I think that for all yeah, intents and purposes, it'd be great Andrew in some respects for, uh, for the record to go in Australia, and it'll probably just make Emma even the more hungry to get it back again. Well, the Very bad English on. there. Even the more hungry. What am I saying? Well, I think she'll be hungry. She'll be hungry. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Well, she'll be hungry because she's suffered a defeat here tonight, Emma George, as Stacey Dragila just goes through the technique we talked about her being tough and uh, when i say this you think i'm crazy but she is a former rodeo queen and she used to wrestle goats <laughs> that, that is the true story she's I'm from idaho you. in central america and she has come from a farm background and she used to travel the rodeo circuit and it certainly helped her at the world championships emma george just packs up her gear bridget Rocky. isworth was just next to her fantastic performance from her tonight a new australian junior record cleared four meters 25. So you're thinking Emma George seems quite insignificant compared to goats in well, terms of the tackling situation? No, not at all, because, of course, Emma was a former member of the Flying Fruit Fly Circus when she was a youngster and used to perform on a, an act called the Tower of Chairs, where they used to put chairs on top of uh, bottles and then they used to uh, do handstands on top of them. So obviously you need to have a fair bit of courage to be a pole vaulter. You've only just learnt that, David. No, that's been a... Uh, <laughs> I think everybody in Australia knows that uh, Emma was a member of the flying fruit fly circus i have never actually tried the pole vault so i can't actually tell you how much courage it takes but and I, I do know that you're scared of heights and i can understand why you wouldn't have tried the pole vault because we're up now at 461 it's a new world record and this lady is about to take her third attempt at it well i do know from the people that talk about it they charge in the fiberglass pole, the pole and vault. they hang upside down and then launch themselves into the air so, and even Emma George, well, that is half-hearted, I think, from Emma. She's not too sure. She probably should support, but gee, it must be tough watching someone attempt your world record. And third and final attempt now for Stacey Dragila. There's the situation. Third attempt. Four metres, 61. We charge in with the American. Final attempt at the world record. Has she got a pretty height? No, so close, so it lives close. to fight another day. Stacey Dragila takes out the pole vault competition tonight. Emma George in second. Tatiana Grigorieva will have to settle for bronze and they will move to Sydney for another battle in the women's pole vault. Well, she had quite a bit of height on that one, David. I don't think it's going to be long before she takes it. It was a great attempt, perhaps just a little bit tired. She had so many jumps in this competition. And just as you mentioned before, not the penetration. And the record survives. Emma can breathe a sigh of relief. Still has a name in that record book. I'm sure you would. It must be give you heart palpitations to watch somebody go so close to your own world record. It survives. A wonderful competition. Great meet overall when you think of Patrick Johnson, Terry, and also Melinda Gaines for Taylor in those sprints with Matt Shervington and Lauren Hewitt. Great competition here tonight in Brisbane. Yeah, it's been wonderful racing. It's been wonderful on the field as well as we take a break from the State Athletic Centre in Brisbane.